What is le verlan, you ask? Well, the word itself means à l'envers, which means backwards in English. It's literally the word verlan, envers. Do you see what we've done? We swap the syllable. So it is an inversion of syllables, sometimes once or even twice in the same word. For example, a very, very common verlan word is cimer. Now, can you guess what cimer, what word is cimer? If you put the syllable back together, then you have merci. Thank you. Okay, so that's what I mean by verlan. It is widely used in France, especially by the younger generation. Obviously not by me. It's such a phenomenon that some words made it in the dictionary, such as meuf, which is the verlan for femme, woman. For others, the spelling might differ depending on who you talk to. Bear in mind that verlan words is considered slang in French, so the meaning of certain words may differ from what you know. What I'd like you do, to do with you today is play a game together. I'm going to show you some words, okay, and you have to guess what the normal version of that word is. And then I will put this verlan version in context. Are we ready? Here is the first word. Oof, oof. You will see it most likely this way. Say oof. So, what does it mean? <laughs> and where is the word coming from? Try to invert a lot. Of course, there is only one syllable here. So, you have to invert the first letter, put it back at the beginning. Foo. It's mad. It's amazing. It's crazy. So, you will see this Verlan word, say oof in this kind of context. Oh, wow! Tu as vu le nouveau film de Timothée Chalamet? Il est ouf! I know, right? Have you seen Timothée Chalamet's new film? It's amazing! It's crazy good! Il est ouf! Have a look at this word. Chamé. Chamé. Or you can see it. C'est chamé. So what do you think that means? Try to put this word back into the right order, as in the la cibolo, syllable first. Méchant. That's right. Méchant is nasty, but it means wicked and super cool. Now, méchant here, you may think, well, hold on, that's not the way we spell méchant in French. No, as I said to you, the verlan is such that sometimes the words does not always work uh, in terms of spelling, okay? So we make it happen no matter what, but we are going to change sometimes the syllables and we are going to change sometimes the spelling of that word in the verlan uh, way. So you will see it like that. La soirée d'hier soir était chamée. Last night's party was wicked. Chamé. Méchant. Have a look at this word now. Chelou. Chelou. What do you think that means? Chelou. You would see like, c'est chelou. Now, chelou, invert the syllables, it's louche. Louche. And what does that mean? It means dodgy. Chelou, dodgy, or weird. Okay? So you will see chelou this way. C'est chelou cette histoire. Il y a des trucs qui ne collent pas. C'est chelou cette histoire. Il y a des trucs qui ne collent pas. This story is weird. Or this situation is weird. Things don't add up. Il y a des trucs. There are things that do not stick together. They don't add up. C'est chelou. I know. It's, uh, it's funny, isn't it? Are you enjoying this video? Because I am. It's crazy. Le verlan is a crazy uh, slang because that's what it is, you know. But you will hear it a lot in France. So you need to be aware of these words. Have a look at this one. Meuf. Meuf. What do you think this word is in real French? Meuf. This one is really commonly used and it means femme. Femme. Woman. Okay, woman, femme. And like you see, M-E-U-F is not at all linked to F-E-M-M-E, is it? But that's the joy of speaking verlan. You will hear it like that. La nouvelle meuf de Julien est super gentille. Je suis contente pour lui. Julien's new girlfriend. So meuf 
means woman, but it means wife or it means girlfriend. So Julien's new girlfriend is really nice. I'm happy for him. Of course, these words are really complicated, but if you wanted to see it written down, you can access the support guide if you become a member of my YouTube channel by joining or clicking on the join button below. Have a look at these two words. We are going to try to put these two words into a sentence. So you have rum and you have relou. And this is crazy because even if you invert them, you might might not know what they are, like mur or lour. Now, rum is mère, mother in slang verlan. And relou is lour, which is heavy, okay, or annoying, okay, in slang verlan. And lour, as you know, in the normal French, we spell it with a D, L-O-U-R-D. We add this sound to, uh, well, so we can actually literally invert the syllables together. So you will hear rum and relou in this context. Ma rum est trop relou en ce moment, je ne sais pas ce qui se passe. My mum is really annoying at the moment. I don't know what's happening. My, ma rum est trop relou en ce moment. <laughs> so funny to say it because, well, I'm teaching you the Verlan, but that's not the way I speak. Uh, as such, I'm probably too old. Now, here we go. This one. Yep. Yep. What do you think yep is? Again, it doesn't, you know, where I said that Verlan is the inversion of syllables, it really doesn't work here. But yet, it is a Verlan word from a very, very common word. And it is pie. Les pieds, yep. Les yep, les pieds, fit. We're talking about fit. So you can see it in that context. J'ai acheté des nouvelles chaussures hier et elles me font trop mal au yep. C'est horrible. I bought some shoes, new shoes, uh, yesterday and they hurt my feet so bad. It's horrible. J'ai acheté des nouvelles chaussures hier et elles me font trop mal au pied. Euh, Oh, yep, c'est horrible. See what I've just done? It doesn't come naturally to me. Anyway, have a look at this one. Resta, resta is, you know, I don't know whether you'll find this one. Now, resta is what? Again, we've added an extra E to make that extra syllable. It is star, as in a star is born, you know. So resta means star. So you will see it in this context. Regarde-le, lui, comment il fait trop sa resta. Look at him, acting like he's all that or like he's a superstar. Regarde-le, lui, comment il fait trop sa resta. I know, right? Don't ask. It's crazy. Resta. Je suis une resta. <laughs> Sounds so naff coming from a middle-aged woman saying that. Anyway, have a look at these two words now. Keblo, vénère. Now, these ones are really, really funny, even funnier. I mean, there is no link with the actual uh, spelling of that uh, word, keblo, especially. So try to do keblo, uh, put them back into order, bloqué, okay? And vénère, put that back into order, énervé. So, bloqué, blocked, énervé, annoyed, or angry. So, you will see it like this. Je suis resté keblo dans l'ascenseur. Pendant deux heures, j'étais trop vénère. Resté bloqué. I stayed blocked. I stayed stuck. So, je suis resté keblo dans l'ascenseur. Pendant deux heures, j'étais trop vénère. I was stuck in the elevator. Elev elevator for two hours. I was so mad. Énervé. Vénère. To finish, what do you think this one? This is what I'm going to do tonight. What is this word? Tough. Tough. Now, again, it goes against the putting the two syllables together. It means fet, which is a party. Fet, okay? You look at the proper spelling of that word and look at the very long spelling of that word. They are really different. So you will see it like this. On a fait la teuf hier. 
On a fait la teuf hier. We had a party last night. Quite simply, on a fait la teuf. T'as fait la teuf hier? Oui, j'ai fait la teuf hier. And that's it. Now, if you want more like this about this French in real life videos, have a look at the playlist here and have a look at this video here. They're all really useful into making you speak like a real pro. French, of course. That's it for me. Au revoir, à bientôt, bisous, bisous. <laughs>